You may have seen him on when he appeared on My Name is Earl. He had a Nike commercial running. And look for him in a new movie called Under Belly Blues. Please open stage, Nate Hurd. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Good? All right. Um, before I even get started, I need to ask, is anybody else, um, anybody else a black or Anybody? Nobody? <laughs> Half y'all ain't laughing because y'all don't know what the fuck that is, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm a black or Both of my parents are, in fact, black. Unfortunately, I was adopted at birth by a white family. <laughs> Not a joke, and raised in the South. God had to work at that one, seriously. Like I said, was it 859 on fucking the last day? God just like, why don't I let the fucking intern do this last night? <laughs> like, seriously, and then that's like, to have insult to injury? Like, no, like, okay, all of our are allergic to the sun. We're allergic to light. And like, like, this light right now is hurting my eyes. You know what that's like? Being allergic to the sun is kind of like being allergic to happiness. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, that's not right. And like, seriously, everybody talks about near-death experiences. What do you see? Tunnel, white light. Now if you fuck again, I'm going to be like, you want to dump towards the light, my son? I can't, you motherfucker! You made me this way, goddammit! Huh. One of the great things about comedy is that it does give you that 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 voice it gives you, you people are cap, you get a captive audience. People are going to live, gives you that opportunity to really speak your mind and really, really talk about what you believe in, but in a way that people can understand. You know what I mean? And, and by using comedy, you can say things that you really believe, but people might understand because they're funny. You know what I mean? And that's I think that's that's a that's a really appealing part of comedy for me. My name is Nathan Hurd, I'm stand-up comedian. 100, per, I mean like I'm me on stage, just, I'm, I'm the most confident when I'm on stage. Like I'm more confident on stage than I am off stage. I'll say things on stage that I, would, that I wouldn't say off stage, not because they're, that, not because I wouldn't want to say them, just because I wouldn't, just because I wouldn't say them, you know what I mean? Um, with acting, that's just a, that's a different monster. That's, that's, that's the ability and the freedom to completely reinvent yourself. That's the job, is to be something different than what you are. But comedy, like stand-up, is at its base, at least for me, is the, the opportunity to go on stage and really and really let people know who I am. You know what I mean? Like, so I think they're really different in that aspect. This is a, uh, just got done doing a uh, rock paper, open mic. It was good. I uh, I had to host tonight because Stephanie didn't show up, so um, I was the host of the whole show. It was fun. I like hosting. Now I'm waiting for the bus. I was going to go home, but uh got to go show face at the comedy store. You know what I mean? Let them know, let them know that, the, that, that I'm still out there. You know what I mean? Feel me? life, man. <laughs> this is what we do. You guys are happy. No, that's 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 rare as fuck. Seriously, like you guys are like six-year-old happy. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, you ever seen a six-year-old get a cookie? It changes his whole shit. Like the whole day is now good. You know what I mean? Like adults ain't like that no more. We need to be more like six-year-olds and shit. I like that. Like I'm a happy person. I'm, I'm, I like being happy. Like I, I, I don't understand why most adults 
just deliberately don't want to be happy like. You know what I mean? Like Christmas used to be the greatest time of the fucking year. You got a bike, you would lose your fucking mind. You would lose your mind. You remember getting a bike when you was a kid, you started doing martial arts, you don't even know how to do and shit, and just, ah! Ah! I'm so happy! You start screaming and shit just for no damn reason. And then you, 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 like, you get an Xbox, that, when I first got a, like a Nintendo, I ran around the house like eight times for no particular reason whatsoever. Just fucking just, just, just had to get it out. Just, just around the house. I don't even know why the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Like, but the fucking part is that like parents, like adults, deliberately don't want you to be happy. Like that fucks with them. They're like, this little motherfucker's a little too happy right now. You know what I'm bringing back down there? Hey, 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 hey. I know you're really happy because you just got a fucking Nintendo. I know you're really happy, but you know what? You can only play it 20 minutes a day. That's just, yeah, that's all, that's all you get, yeah. Just enough to let you know that you might have been happy. That's all that is, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a puppy. You're really fucking happy you got that puppy? Think about this. If it shits on the rug once, I'm killing it. Just know that. Just, I just want you to just feel that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucked up. Like, adults just take happiness away from children. That's, that's not right. Thank you. God damn it, I don't understand. Like, if if, the, the, if you if you're an adult, and like if the kid's in a car and he passes like a playground or some shit, right? Sees a bunch of kids playing. All the kid wants to do is be a part of that jovial experience. That's that's it. That's the only thing. If adults see other adults having fun, we just get fucking cynical. Well, wish I could fucking just fuck off all day, but I gotta go to fucking work. Yeah, you fucking guys over here, over here having a fucking good time on a Wednesday. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. We don't even let ourselves be happy. You ever got some good news and gone into a private room to celebrate? That's ridiculous. One of you guys, you like a one of million dollars, you'd be like, yep. Yeah. Uh huh, I got it, yeah. All right, thank you. Why are you smiling? No reason, dude. No fucking reason, dude. No fucking reason. It's, it's stupid. Just, I'm just saying, like, people need to be more happy in their lives. Let's just, just do it, man. And like, I love to eat. What the fuck is that funny for? I like to eat. I'm fat than a motherfucker, and I don't give a damn. Food is delicious. I don't like this LA thing of people looking at me strange when I'm in McDonald's with nuggets and a chocolate shake. Fuck y'all, have you ever tasted nuggets and a chocolate shake? They're delicious. The fucking, these skinny bitches, oh my God, I can't believe you're eating that bitch. I can't believe you're not. What's wrong with you? I mean, seriously? I'm like, like, I had somebody tell me, like, like they sent me that picture of what nuggets are really made out of. Yeah. And they were like, that's disgusting, isn't it? And I was like, no, it's not. I was like, I'm going to be honest with you. If I found out tomorrow that nuggets were made out of, like, little boys and girls' souls, I'd still pop them back at school. I really would. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to be real with you, dog. Like, just, I'm just. <laughs> just, 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 just being real, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just, you, ever, you ever eat so much that your body basically tells you, like, your body's like, hey, okay, look, um, you've actually eaten more than we can physically digest right now, so um, we're going to have to shut everything down. And uh, four or five hours, you can try again, but I mean, for right now, that's not going to